In the last section, we started to explore the Eulerian and Hamiltonian cycle problems. And we started to see Euler's reasoning that it looked like if you had an odd number of edges leaving a node, there was no way you could possibly use every edge exactly once and come back to where you started. So what we're going to work with um, are directed networks when we come back and apply this to uh, biology and the problem of, of genome assembly. Um, so a directed network is a, a network in which each edge has a direction, so we represent the edges as arrows. Um, and we think of the directed edges, for example, as a one-way bridges. Um, and so, for example, the, the network on the right is directed. Um, and an Eulerian cycle in a directed network has to travel down all these bridges in the legal direction. Um, so you could say, well, here's a sample network. Does that network have an Eulerian cycle? Is it possible to use every edge once and come back to where you started? And certainly no. Right? If we look at the node on the right, you have one edge in and no way of getting out. So just as before, when we saw that you needed to have an even number of edges in an undirected network at each node, you might start to wonder if it's the case that you need the same number of edges into a node as out of a node in order to form an Eulerian cycle in one of these directed networks. Um, and so what we can do is we can go through every node and this is, won't take too long to program a computer to do, and walk through the entire network and say how many nodes, uh, how many edges are there coming into each node, and how many edges are there going out of each node. And so we can label each node with the number of edges in and the number of edges out. And in keeping with this idea that we want to get the same number in as the same number of out, we'll say a network is balanced if it's got that property at every single node the number of edges in is equal to the number of edges departing. And that net network is not balanced. So you have some nodes that have, one node has um, zero edges in and two edges leaving it. Um, a couple of the nodes are balanced, so they have one edge in and one edge out. And so we could add a few edges, though, and see that we can produce a, a, direct, a balanced directed network. And so what Euler showed, essentially, is that um, or what we would say is Euler's theorem, is that a directed network is going to contain an Eulerian cycle precisely when that network is balanced, so at each node the number in is equal to the number out, as well as connected. We can't possibly hit every edge if the, if the network is in multiple different pieces. So the network on the left there is not connected. It's not possible to get from any node to any other node, so there's no way we could use every possible edge in that network without jumping across, and that's not allowed. So Euler's theorem states that as long as the network is connected and the network is balanced, so number in is equal to number out at every node, we'll be able to find an Eulerian cycle in that network. So we'll be able to touch every edge exactly once and come back. Um, and the key point is that based off of Euler's reasoning, it's actually also possible to program a computer to quickly find an Eulerian cycle in a balanced, correct, connected, directed network. Um, so we can use this balanced and connected idea to say that if a network is balanced and connect connected, we can relatively quickly find a Eulerian cycle within it. Um, even a network that has as many as, say, millions or a billion edges, we can relatively quickly find an Eulerian cycle in this network. So we've seen that this problem is relatively straightforward to solve. You'll notice I didn't mention anything about the Hamiltonian cycle problem, and so now we're going to start moving back towards um, genome assembly.